On the last part, you set up the HTTP client. Now, on this part, you learn how to inject the HTTP client and load data from a JSON file. And we have said that on the upcoming parts, you learn how to load this data from the IMDB API. And here I have already navigated to the home component.ts. And the first thing that you need to do is that you need to inject the HTTP client. For that, I'll just type in here private and then HTTP client. And the type is going to be the HTTP client. Since we have already configured the HTTP client module, whenever you inject the HTTP client in here, it's going to work just fine. I'll just save the changes and then in here before I used to have the fan favorites movies. So I have an array in here and then another array for the top movies. I've already created two JSON files. So if I just go to the assets and then data inside here, you have fan favorite movies.json, which has the same data, but in a JSON format and the top movies dot json so we are going to basically load the data using the http client from these two json files instead of hard coding them in these properties so what i'll do is that i'll just clean up the data so i have an empty array in here and then i'll have another empty array for the top movies i will then clean up all the comments in here and then by using the ng on init i'll simply call two methods which are going to load the data for the fan favorites and top movies the first method is going to be get fan favorite movies and the second one is going to be get top movies now since i don't have these methods I need to create both of them. So I'll just copy the name. Here we're going to have the code and then get movies. And then inside curly brackets, I'll have the code. Now, for you to be able to access these methods, of course, you need to use in here this dot get fan favorite movies and this dot get top movies. Inside this method, we're going to use the HTTP client to load the data from the JSON file and set the data to the fan favorite movies array, which is then going to be used to render the data in the HTML. So we're not going to update the HTML. The only thing that we're going to change is simply load the data from the JSON file instead of hard coding them in this TypeScript file. For that, so for the fan favorites, I'll just type in here this.http client dot get. And then here optionally you can define the response i'll say that the response is going to be an any array so if you have a response defined in here you need to have the same response defined here on the get and then you need to define where the data will be loaded now normally if you have an api endpoint which is going to be the case for the imdb api you need to define the api endpoint in here otherwise in our case i'm going to define the url or the path for the json file the path in our case is the assets folder and then we have the data folder and then we have the file name so for that i'll just type in here assets and then i have the data folder and inside the data folder i have the fan favorite movies dot json so we have constructed the HTTP client, the get request. Now to get response, you need to subscribe. So for that, I'll just type in here subscribe. And then we are going to get a response, which let's say is going to be named data. It's going to be of type any, an array. And for now, let us just console.log. So we're going to just console.log the data. And if you want, you can just define here fan favorites. And then we're going to have the data. And we're going to do the same for the top movies. So for that, let me just bring subscribe down here. Okay, looks better. 
Now let us just copy this HTTP client in here. I'll just paste it inside the top movies and we are going to load the data from assets data. Now not from the fan favorite movies, but instead from the top movies. So I'll just type in here, top movies.json. And then here, I'll just change this one to top movies. I'll just save the changes and I'll go to the browser. So in here on the app, you'll see that I still have the slider in here because in the slider, I still have the hard coded data, but I don't see any data here on the right for the top movies or for the fan favorites. And that's because we did load the data, but we didn't set the data to the array property. So if I press in here F12 and then go to console, you'll see that in here I have fan favorites an array with four items and top movies an array with two items. Then I'll just go back to Visual Studio Code. Now here, instead of just loading the data, we are going to also set the data to fan favorites and top movies array. So for that, just remove this one from here. This dot fan favorites is equal to data. And this dot top movies is equal to data. And then I'll just save the changes and go back to the app. Now here you can see that we have the top movies here on the right and the fan favorites down below. But now instead of loading the data from the TypeScript file, we are loading the data from a JSON file using the HTTP client. Now on the next part, we are going to do the same for the movie details. We are going to load all these data that you see in here, not from a TypeScript file, but from a JSON file. 